What separates successful affiliates during the holidays from, well, the not so successful ones? Well, it's the same thing that separates successful affiliates all year round. And that's what today's episode is all about. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy podcast. If you want to grow your income, serve your tribe, and enjoy all the benefits of affiliate marketing and having your own affiliates, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get started. What is up and welcome to episode eight in our series, The 12 Days of Holidays, all about affiliate marketing during the holidays and how to really boost your sales. And over the last few episodes, and we started off with more strategic episodes, over the last few episodes, we've shared some specific tactics that can start increasing your sales 15% 15% here, 20% there. For, uh, last two, we talked about 14% and 18%. And today, I have another one that is one of those differentiators. It's what su- separates successful affiliates from the not-so-successful affiliates. This is when you compare two affiliates who have the same email list size, the same social media following, and yet one of them is making 25 50%, 100%, 200% more money. This is true year round. This is true any promotion. What separates the successful ones from the non successful ones is that the successful ones treat it like a big launch. They, tr- they go all in on their promotions. They go all in. Here's the thing when, you're t- when we're talking about holiday promotions, I want you to go big. I want you to treat it like a big launch. If you only have a 48 hour window that you plan on promoting, Plan on sending four or five or six or seven, you know, literally. Plan on sending a bunch of emails in that time frame. Focus on the deadline. Because if you're only going to promote for, say, 48 hours or 72 hours, essentially, it's like promoting a big launch. Cart close day is that last day. And I've shared over and over, that last day, you should be sending at least four emails, preferably five and sometimes more. You should be sending a lot of emails on the last day to really hone in the deadline. So if you're going to send two emails on the day before cart close and then five on cart close day, that's seven emails in two days. And that's it for that promotion. You know, guess when most of the sales are made up in that 48 hour sale. When you talk about taking that 48 hour show, guess when the most sales, most of the sales are made, probably 40 to 50% of the sales are made in the last four hours, the last four hours, you'll have a big boost at the very beginning and then a complete drop off. And then the last four hours, guess when most of the sales are are made in a seven day promotion, the last four hours. And guess when they're made in a eight hour promotion, the last two hours, (laughs) you know, the last two hours, that's nothing moves people like a deadline. That's one of my quote unquote famous quotes, you know, is, is like, I, I say that so often, nothing moves people like a deadline and nothing moves people like scarcity. Nothing moves people like a dramatic need for a product, but the deadline even more so. You'll always find that that last couple of hours to four hours are when you're going to have the most sales, even in a four hour sale, you know, guess when the biggest you know, like 40 to 50% of your sales will come in the last half hour in a four hour promotion. It works every time. You'll notice that every time. So you really got to hammer home on that deadline. Treat it like a big launch. Now, if it is a week long promo, I'm not suggesting you email five times a day for seven days. You email once on the first day, maybe twice. You might email twice on the first day you know, because of whatever reason, there's a million reasons why you might do that. And then you'll email once a day and then the, maybe twice in the second to last day and then five times in the last day. But on those shorter ones, you just got to pack them in into a very short period of time. Now there's one exception to this. And that is if you choose to go the angle, I love when Ray Edwards does this. He says, this is the only email I'm going to send about this. So whether it's an affiliate promotion and your own promotion, and maybe there's a limited number of spots or a limited number of whatever, you know, there's only 500 available and there's a lot of people promoting it. And you say, this is the only email I'm going to send about this. 
Now, if you do what we talked about a couple of episodes ago and tease it, you know, you tease it in advance and then you employ this strategy, it can be very effective. If you tell people, look for my email at 7.30 Eastern time, you know, 7.30 a.m. Eastern time and they're refreshing their email, this can work. You know, if you say this is the only email I'm going to send about it, but you can only do that a few times a year. You can't just do that every time. It just doesn't work. So it loses effectiveness. So treat these promotions like a big launch. Go back and listen to the episode where we talk about planning these things and making that promotion calendar so you can get these things and you know, especially in your, you know, this busier time when you're doing a lot of promotions, you have every day planned out what you're doing. If you don't have every single day planned out, then you're just kind of, you know, I don't know, you're just wandering around. And so I would not recommend emailing five times a day for four straight days. So if you've got, you know, four promos, like day one, day two, day three, day four, you got to pick the one maybe where you're going to go all in. And then the others, you, you can't go all in. Or maybe the key is in that particular case, we'll talk about this as well. The key is to per, uh, have a page that has all of the promos listed and you, def, you know, you mail once or twice about each of those and send them to the page that they go to the promo. So there's all sorts of ways to do that. But again, I'm not suggesting that if you've got a bunch of promos back to back to back to back that you email five times in a day. That's why having that calendar lets you look at that and go, okay, this is the one. This is the perfect offer for my audience. It's a great discount. And it's it's just like, it's you know, I got the biggest commission and it's like it's just really going to help my audience. That's always your number one thing, of course. So this is the one I'm going to go all in on. The other ones I'm just going to promote with a single email and some social media posts. Okay, so just to be clear on that. But that's what separates successful affiliates from unsuccessful ones in the holidays and year round. So the next episode, we're going to talk about hot gift items. You know, posting about the hottest holiday gifts items. Uh, you know, like the, you've seen these, you know, what are the top gadget gifts for 2018? You know, things like that. We're going to talk about that in the next episode. I'm going to show you how to do that and I'll see you then. This episode of the Affiliate Guy podcast is brought to you by the Marketer's Box, Matt's monthly subscription to take your marketing to the next level. The Marketer's Box is not a book club and it's not an online course. It's a total immersion into the greatest minds in marketing. It's time to fall in love with marketing the Marketer's Box can help. Learn more at themarketersbox.com. Thank you so much for listening today. Remember to check out all of our deep dives into affiliate marketing at theaffiliateguy.tv. And if you have a question, you can ask it at asktheaffiliateguy.com. Who knows, might end up being featured on this podcast.